to continue with our show, we're going to bring you some of the top rock and roll. often call me Speedo, but my real name is Mister. He don't never take it slow Well, not he up to call me Peter But my real name is Mr. Not he up to call me Peter But my real name is Mr. Not he up to call me Peter But my real name is Mr. In 1953, Fortune brought together Sam Wolfson, Ben Garrity, and Hank Aaron. Wolfson was already a successful local businessman when he bought the Jacksonville Braves. Wolfson hired the well-respected but controversial manager, Ben Garrity, to lead the team. For the next four years that Wolfson owned the team, the Jacksonville Braves won three pennants. Those far-sighted sportsmen had the vision in 1953 to sign on 19-year-old rookie Hank Aaron to play ball here. Aaron and two other ball players, Felix Mantia and Horace Garner, broke the color line for the South Atlantic League that year. Aaron remembers the hardships of playing ball during those early years of the civil rights movement. When we went into a city, uh, the bus quite naturally would pull over and uh, carry the white players to the hotel, the convenience of the hotel, and then they would carry us to uh, either um, a private home or to YMCA, uh, some place where we would be in the, in the black section of the city. Now, if I had played with a manager that didn't know the criteria of a black baseball player playing in the South, the deep mm -hmm. South of Jacksonville, and also Mr. Wilson himself, you know, uh, we wasn't making that much money, but if you go on the road and have a good road trip, you could always depend on him sticking $10 in your shoe. <laughs> I always look back at Ben Garrity because he was so tolerant of all the mistakes I made in Jacksonville. I used to sit down with us, you know, myself, Felix Manti, and Horace Garner, when we could no, couldn't stay in the same hotel with white players, he used to come over and talk with us a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, Ben was a great, and God took him a little too early. But, you know, I have a feeling, look at that picture, that they were sort of around when you hit that home run. Do you ever think about them, uh, especially during your playing days? Believe me, I do. And I, that may sound silly, you know, because there's a lot of things that have happened to me since, of course, since Jacksonville. And uh, But I, as I said before, I have to give these two gentlemen all the credit in the world for my ability and my really my consistency in playing the game of baseball. You talked about, personally, Ben Garrity being a friend, uh, telling you to have patience, that you had the talent, that it would all come about. But I can remember when we were nine or ten games ahead with uh, 11 to go, and he was still worried we wouldn't win the championship. Well, Ben was that kind of man, you know. I mean, he was that kind of manager. He wanted to get the best. He wanted, he wanted everyone. In fact, I can remember some of these things. He said in order to be a great ball player, you have to be a consistent one that go out there every day and do the things a little bit better every day because this game is that kind of game. And I can remember those things. It stuck with me all through my baseball career. It was a very, very good ball club. I mean, a very good ball club. Uh, you know, I think seven or eight or nine of us off that ball club eventually went to the big league. Uh, you know, I know your baseball accomplishments and I know what you've done and your children are happy. Are you happy in life if things are going well for you, I trust? Well, I think they are, Dick. Uh, of course, you know, you always want them to be a little better, but I feel like I've been well blessed. The Wilson brothers came in and they totally changed everything. Uh, they put us on top. They made where well, we'd had a losing team for all those years. They put us on top. Uh, and at that time, they changed it. Uh, they had a working agreement with the with the Braves. It was the right place at the right time. It was the right place for Sam Wolfson to be in to, to do that because uh, he uh, he didn't care anything about color and and he didn't care anything about race. And uh, 
he cared something about ball players, and and uh, he had the right attitude to kind of brace it, the, to break that race barrier at that time on a local basis. When I was here with Aaron and and uh, Felix Pantier, Gardner, and there were black people we had on our club, and yeah, it was the first true. year in the, in the South, and they they had a little rough time. We all blended in. It was easy. I was a utility infielder. I played anywhere Ben Garrity wanted me to play. And when I, uh, when you pinch hit for Henry Aaron, you're in pretty good company, you know.